before I get out of here, I did want to talk about a conversation I had on the phone. So I was leaving Eldora, driving out here to PA, and somebody called me and they said, hey, have you heard anything about this Tyler Courtney deal? What's going on? And I, would, I said, I, he, the guy was like, well, who's going to get into his race car? Who would they put in that car? And I was like, I would say Macri. That's where I thought, I mean, very similar driving style, very aggressive drivers, both of them. And that's what it sounded like um, made sense to me on the phone. Um, and then I was like, the, the bigger issue is the 39M trying to find a driver that's like Anthony Macri. Because I don't think that that's really possible right now. Who are you going to get? Who are you going to get? Are you going to, who is out there? that's available, uh, that is on an Anthony Macri level. There wasn't too many. There aren't too many. That's going to be really hard for the 39M. Your closest one would have been Buddy Kofoid, and he's all he's lined up with Roth, Toyota. They got a whole nother situation. Now, I understand the 39M of Anthony Macri, uh, or, or of Macri Motorsports, hard to uh, not uh, say those two things without them being the same, um, comes with a very special thing. And that special thing is Charlie Garrett Motors. So there are a few motor builders out here in this industry, in the, in the sprint car world, that people recognize as just um, the Ferrari of the industry. You can go out and buy your this, that, your Toyota, your Chevy, your, your Ford Motors, but you got a few builders out there that are the Ferraris. Now, those Garretts are in that Ferrari category. That Morrison is in that Ferrari category. The Capetto, the Ferrari. These guys, they build motors for certain people that, and they 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 are not a big turner over and just dish out a motor to everybody who wants to buy one type of scenario. These are exclusive motor builders most of the time. And their motors are Ferraris. They run. They get, gab, and go. The front ends don't dip at the end of the straightaways of Knoxville. They continuously pull. And that's what the 39M of Macquarie Motorsports has. They got some of them Ferraris ready to throw under the hood. So that program is very alluring to anybody who wants to contend on a World of Outlaw Sprint Car Series level. Now, once again, your issue still is who, what driver out there is on an Anthony Macquarie level to, to make that Ferrari hump to the front instead of flip off the damn racetrack. And there's just not too many, like a, like a Anthony Macquarie style, that aren't signed up. Even in PA, who's the closest? I mean, at Port Royal, I guess you would say Borden has kind of become the, the old school Macquarie up on the fence kind of guy, uh, you know, but uh, he ain't necessarily tore up a lot of equipment. He had, had some issues at Speed Week, but uh, is Borden right? I don't. I don't know if Borden's on that level. You can't say that. I mean, who you might have said Corey Day. Um, obviously, he's got some stuff going on with uh, the seven car. He's going to be sharing a ride with Anthony Macri, uh with the BC machine with that uh, Courtney has vacated. You might have said Corey Corey Day. He's got a lot of a on the edge kind of aggressive driving style. I think that aggressive driving style is what you're going to need. And, and, you know, if the track's hooked up and heavy though, I'm talking about aggressive as far as being up on the wall, the track's hooked up and heavy through the center of the corner or not up on the wall. I mean, that's how Lance DeWeese did so much better at Kings Royal. I believe, you know, the track wasn't right up on the wall, especially on the Saturday night he did fairly well, fairly. Uh, obviously, at the Kings Royal, there's a lot of wrecks, a lot of carnage. 14 cars are uh, all that finished the race, technically. Um, and it was a, a situation, you know, where the track's just heavy and everybody's trying to go for the one sweetie spot. Um, but the 39M car, once again, is just, it is a Ferrari machine uh, in this sprint car racing industry. And there's a couple of Ferraris out there, you know, and they're mainly in the World of Outlaw Sprint Car Series industry. Um, and that's what every driver is wanting to do over here in this sprint car racing industry. They want to win World of Outlaw Sprint Car Series events, crown jewels, all this stuff. And more than likely, most of the time, the only things winning these events with the World of Outlaw Sprint Car Series and Knoxville's and all this are Ferraris. No matter if they are a name brand motor builder like a Kistler or something, 
It just seems like what some of these guys get are closer to that Ferrari category. But when you slap a Garrett name on there, a Morrison name on there, a Capetta name on there, you have you a Ferrari because those things are very exclusive to the teams that are able to get and operate on them. So anyways, that'll, that, that is, to me, the bigger question mark. Who is going to the 39M of Anthony Macquarie's ride? Corey Day seems to be the closest driver style to be able to do that. Maybe a Justin Sanders, but Justin Sanders, I don't know how, how much he can do a full uh, tour or schedule like that 39M, 9M is, is prepared to do. Um, it's, it's interesting. It's an interesting situation there with that Ferrari that they got sitting in Pennsylvania. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, comment below with what you think. Who's going in that car? Uh, share the video, like the video, and uh, as always, be sure to subscribe. Wednesday, BAPS. Friday, Path Valley. Saturday, Williams Grove. Uh, we'll see about Grandview in the High Limit Series next week. And then I am planning on taking my first trip to the Weedsport Speedway in New York next Saturday and Sunday so that does leave me open for next Friday. What are some good events for maybe me to go to next Friday here in the PA? Maybe even some modified racing up in the, in the New York area next Friday. Uh, prior to that Saturday, Sunday event at Weedsport with the World Outlaw Sprint Car Series. I can't wait to see that. We might be lucky enough to not have a Ferrari win that event because that Weedsport slicks off so damn much. It's an ice skating rink and those, those guys who can work the foot a little bit more than uh, flip the switch, have a chance. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, as always, we'll catch you next time. Put a smile on your face. Maybe get some Bitcoin. I got me some the other day. And uh, this is a camo hat style. Hmm. Kind of hard to read, but sleek, subtle. I like it. Oh, yeah. And drink victory. No. That's victory. You. Catch you next time. This is how we ride. This is how we do. Ride my slide.